Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kelly. I blog at Kelly Lee Creates, where I teach lettering and digital design. So today I have a super fun project for you. I'm gonna show you how to make this cute beach bag perfect for the beach or the pool. It's the perfect project for the summer and it's super easy to make. And guess what? You don't need any heat transfer vinyl for this. No heat transfer vinyl. So let's get started. So what you're gonna need for this project is a canvas bag. I got this at Michael's, but you could get it at any uh, craft store. You're gonna need a SVG or a PNG file. Um, we're using a PNG for this, uh, but this comes in SVG file format as well. This is from a site called Love SVG, and I will link, the, link to it um, in the description below. This file is completely free, so you can pick it up if you want to use this, but feel free to use any PNG or SVG that you want. Um, you also need a Cricut Easy Press and an inkjet printer and this transfer paper that we are using today is called is by Jolie's Boutique. It's called Easy Image um, for light colored fabrics. So this is a little different than um, heat transfer vinyl. Uh, I was going to use heat transfer vinyl for this project. I was first going to do it with printable heat transfer vinyl, but I found these transfer sheets and I thought that I'd uh, give these a try. So that is what you need and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to print your PNG onto the transfer paper. Um, I realized that I said SVG before, but you want to use the PNG version. And this does come, this file does come in a PNG version. Some SVG files may not, but this one does. So just to clarify that. So you want to print your PNG onto the transfer paper. And just make sure that your PNG is mirrored, just like you would uh, mirror a file if you were using uh, it with heat transfer vinyl. It needs to be mirrored because then we're going to flip it over when we adhere it to the tote bag. So um, these uh, transfer sheets come, one side has two red lines on it and the other side does not. So after you mirror your image, you're going to print it on the side that does not have the red lines. So again, mirror your image uh, and then print it on the side of the transfer sheet that does not have the red lines. So now I'm gonna bring you down, bring the camera down and show you exactly how to put this file onto the tote bag. So once you have your design printed out, then you have to cut around the edge of your design uh, to remove any of this excess white area. And you're just going to flip it over and place it on, center it on your uh, canvas tote bag. So per the instructions for this uh, transfer paper, you have to put your iron on the highest setting possible and for um, transfers that are four inches by four inches in size, you want to press them for 60 seconds. If it's between four by four and eight by eight, you wanna press it for um, 90 seconds. So I think I'm gonna press this one for 90 seconds. So I'm just gonna set my Cricut Easy Press to 90. So I have my Easy Press set to 90 seconds and I have it set to 320 degrees. So again, I'm just gonna line up my um, file on my bag, approximately where I want it. And also 
I have this Cricut Easy Press mat underneath just so it won't damage the table because this Easy Press gets pretty hot. Okay, so I think that's pretty good right about there. And now we're just gonna press it for 90 seconds. Okay, moment of truth. Be careful because this is super, super hot. Super hot. Look at that. That turned out pretty good. That is my first time using this and I am so impressed. So what I like about this is because it's not um, heat transfer vinyl, it's not raised on the surface. So it's actually um, become sort of part of the fabric here. And I think it looks pretty amazing. So this is the final project and I think it turned out super cute. You're ready for a day at the pool or the beach. So if you like this project and want more tutorials like this, make sure to visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.